Hello, welcome again. My name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 4.12 from Sadiku book. And the question is, find the Norton equivalent circuit at the terminal A and B. So to find the Norton equivalent circuits, we will follow these steps. The first one is to find the Norton current. And the second step is to find the Norton resistance. And there are two methods to find out the Norton resistance. First, we use the open circuit voltage at AB. And then the second method is to use a voltage source in this terminal and turn off this current source. Okay, we will try both of the method and compare the result. Okay, first, I want to find the IN. So IN is I short circuit of AB. So this is AB and this is the I Norton. Okay. Okay, I forgot this is plus Vx here between this resistor. Okay, now because we shorted AB, because we shorted AB, the Vx here will be zero. Why? All the current will flow through here, so we don't need this resistance anymore. So that 2 ohm resistance is gone. And then for Vx, it is the difference between this node and this node. And because it is sorted, it is on one node. So Vx is 0. So Vx will be 0. So when Vx is 0, this dependent current source is also 0. So we will have this as 0. And remember that zero voltage source means meaning that it is the same as short circuit so i will erase this all and replace it with short circuit here and then what can we do here because this is a parallel circuit all the current will flowing through this short circuit and not through this 6 ohm resistance. So this 6 ohm resistance is equal to open circuit. And there we go that we have the final circuit for this IN short circuit AB. So it is the same as the current source. So I will have IN. So I will have IN or the Norton current will be the same as this current source which is 10 ampere. Okay, let's save the value of that and let's redraw the circuit and we will find RN. So IN here is, okay, let's use green. So IN is 10 ampere. Okay, I will redraw the circuit, but not here, maybe here, so we can find the Rn. Okay, I have redrawn the initial circuit here, and we will try to find the Norton resistance using method number one. So method one. So we will use open circuit method. So we will find out the voltage of A and B when it is open circuit. Okay, this is already open circuit, so we just need to do analysis in this circuit, and I will do loop analysis. Okay, so I will have this. I will name this loop 1, and this loop here is loop 2. Because we have this current source, so we need a super loop. So I will have this here. as our super loop so i will have super loop here and i will do kvl at my super loop this green one this green one. okay so i will have kvl at super loop so first i will start from this 6 ohm 
resistor so i will have six and the current that pass through it is i1 so i will have six i1 and then i have this voltage here it is 2vx so i will have plus because it's flowing from positive to negative so plus 2vx and then plus i will have this 2 ohm resistor here so i will have 2 and the current that pass through it is this i2 i2 and that will equal to zero and then if we take a look here that vx is actually i2 multiplied by 2 so we can substitute that so i will have 6 i1 plus 2 okay vx vx is here so it is 2 i2 then plus 2 i2 and that will equal to zero and six is here and for i2 i will have four plus two which is six so i will have six i1 plus six i2 is equal to zero or we can divide both sides by six so i will have i1 plus i2 is equal to zero so this is the first equation but we need two equation to find out i1 and i2 and we can get it from this current source so the current that goes in a, with to the same direction as this current source is i2 so we will have i2 at positive with positive sign and i1 is going to the opposite direction here so i will have minus i1 and that will equal to 10 because of this current source and this is equation number two and here we can just add them to remove this i1 so i will have 2 i2 is equal to 5 eh, not 5 0 plus 10 is 10 so i will have i2 is equal to 5 ampere but we need to find the open circuit voltage which is VAB it is 5 ampere multiplied by 2 ohm so 5 times 2 and VAB it's 10 volt and from this and this we can find the Norton resistance so Norton resistance is actually the Norton current divided by the voltage of open circuit AB so I will have this V AB and the Norton current is 10 and VAB is 10 so 10 divided by 10 is 1 ohm so the Norton resistance from this method is 1 ohm here okay let's have this here maybe so I will have the Norton current is 1 ohm So I want to compare it with the second method here so I will clean the loops and this part of the board okay if you want to skip this second method you can just use this first method and submit it as your homework solution it's okay so I will I want to compare it with the second method okay I will compare it to the second method so I will have the second method method number two so the method number two is we turn off the independent sources so we have this current source is 10 ampere so current source is replaced by open circuit because we're turning it off here and because we have this independent source we cannot turn it off so we put some voltage source here with arbitrary uh, number so i will have this as one volt but it hasn't it does not have to be one volt so you can uh, assign this as five volt or some other value so this method is 
okay this method is putting voltage source in terminal a and b and what we gonna do is we found the we find the current that going there so let's call this i and the northern resistance will be the voltage here which is one volt divided by this current okay let's do some analysis here because we have this this is suitable for loop analysis so i will have this loop here okay let's use this loop as loop number one and then let's use this loop here as loop number two okay let's do kvl starting at loop number one okay i will have this six ohm and the current is here so i will have six multiplied by i1 plus 2 ohm here 2 so i have i1 first and here i have i2 going to the opposite direction so minus i2 and then this is voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so i will have the minus sign and the value is 2 vx and all of this will equal to zero but i have vx is here and we can replace vx by ohm's law equivalent here which is 2 i2 minus i1 so let's do that so i will have 6 i1 plus 2 i1 minus i2 minus 2 so vx is actually 2 multiplied by i2 minus i1 and that will equal to zero okay the parenthesis be careful with the parenthesis okay i want to flip, flip this i1 and i2 so i will have here i1 and i2 but i will need to flip the sign so i'll have plus here so I will have 6i1 plus this is 2 plus 4. So I will have 4. I1 minus I2. I mean 2 plus 4 it is 6. And that will equal to 0. Or we can simplify this by dividing both sides by 6. So I will have this. And this will simplify to 2i1 minus i2 is equal to 0. Okay, let's have this as equation number 1. And we are running out of space. Let's move this upside. Okay, now let's do KVL at loop 2. So I will have KVL at loop 2. And I will start from this one volt voltage source. So the current is flowing from negative to positive. So the sign will be negative. And the value will be 1. 1 volt. So this, the value is 1. And then we move on to this resistor. So I will have 2 ohm. And the current here is I2. But we have I1 flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I1. And that will equal to 0. Okay, let's multiply this and move this to the right hand side. So I will have minus 2 I1 plus 2 I2 is equal to 1. Okay, this is equation number 2. And then we can just add equation number 1 and equation number 2 because we will have this 2 I1 eliminated. So, what can we do there? Okay, so let's just rewrite equation number 1 and equation number 2. We will have 2i1 minus i2 is equal to 0. And this is minus 2i1 plus 2i2 is equal to 1. 
so we can just add this so we will have i2 is equal to 1 and remember i2 is the same as i because here this is the current and i is going there so i will have i is also 1 ampere so if we need to see the resistance here we will have the norton resistance it's the voltage here so it is one volt divided by the current that pass through it which is one ampere so we will have the norton equivalent Sir, norton equivalent resistance is one ohm so it is the same with the first method so it's it is both of them result in one ohm and the last thing to do is to draw the circuit okay let's erase all this side and draw the circuit so here we have the norton current which is 10 ampere so i will have voltage not voltage current source is 10 ampere and then i will have a resistance which is parallel to this current source so i will have this and the value is one ohm and this is the terminals terminal a and terminal b okay that is the final answer for this practice problem 4.12 hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation thank you for watching don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content thank you